Hi, Steve from Custom Table Tennis and today we're going to have a look at the different types of three star table tennis balls and what are the differences. Basically there's hundreds, of, well there's 82 different brands uh, but it's not particularly about the brands. Some brands are better than others. People swear by Nitiku, whatever your favourite brand is. That's not the, the point in question. The point is there's two different types and the first one I'm going to show you is a seam ball with a seam and I don't know if you're picking up the colors are not ideal you can see better on the white but you clear the seam seam all the way around and as I say somebody said the other day tried all 17 brands well there's 82 different brands on the new current ITTF approved list so what does that mean they tend to be cheaper tend to be nearly 30% cheaper no matter which country you're in even a little bit more depending on from brand to brand when you're playing and you get a crack on the ball it tends to be on the seam you know you've done it yourself it's got a crack ball it's not bouncing right you can hear it and the, and the tend to go on the seam as opposed to a ball that is completely seamless so it doesn't matter which way around you turn that ball, it has no seam whatsoever. So durability wise for your 30-40% extra for the ball, well I can only speak from my own experience. Um, we've, had, we've had a box of three balls last six months in the league and we just give them a wipe with a damp cloth and keep going. And um, The only way you're going to break this and I've seen three break in one night, so they're not impossible to break. Guy was playing his forehand topspin, mistiming the ball, edge of the bat, then they can break or explode. Um, it's not like a big explosion, but you'll know what I mean if you ever break one. So that's the ball with the seam. There's other brands as well. Um, here's another one. Gyu, another good ball. No seam whatsoever, but they do tend to be expensive. But in our opinion, an opinion of most players in the league and most players we talk talk to, another one, T bar, no seam. As I say, the most expensive, uh, the more expensive than the normal ones. Which one would we go for? Well, the likely seamless balls are likely to be made in the same factory. As far as we know, they've all got made in China on, and as far as we know, Yushifa, when we checked several years ago, was the only manufacturer of this ball. Although there has been some talk of balls being made in Germany, but all the balls I've seen, they say made in China. So incidentally, um, what you need to do before, before you play in the league with a ball is just check that it's ITTF approved so it doesn't matter too much about what brand it is if it's a seamless in our opinion the seamless balls are going to play better and they're going to last longer it's as simple as that um, manufacturers are probably not going to like me for this but I'm just being honest so there's 82 different brands of ball and 16 of them are seamless and then the, the other 66 come with a seam and they are cheaper um, nothing wrong with these balls they, they, they're all they're all playable but they're not just gonna be quite as durable so how do you find what's on the list and what's not on the list what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this out of the way and just find you because somebody says well I don't know how to find it well it's a fairly straightforward process but, but I also should say that the people have been asking for use for balls and they are not ITTF approved um, and then one guy says well I've just bought a gross from eBay and I'm going to use them well that's up to him and his league but you should not be using a ball the other point is same with the rubbers just because it says ITTF approved or ITTF somewhere on it doesn't mean to say that it's ITTF approved you've got to go on the list and actually see if it's still approved so it's a dead simple process I'm not even gonna I'm gonna shut that down so if you go into Google 
I'm going to pull out of that one as well so I'll show you right from the beginning if you put in what is ITTF approved um, so up there ITTF approved ball list scroll down from all the rubbish and then actually for if you're in England reminder about ITTF approved ball so they're even telling you to check whether your ball's legal so you jump on there and you don't have to go far click here you find out if it's legal or not and you get all that come up what I like to do is open 100 pages and you can see every single ball coming all the way down all the way down every single ball if it's not on that list it's not IFTF approved and as you can see the Yusha for went in 2022 so that's a little bit about balls I wasn't going to waffle on too long about it but people are getting a little bit confused between the seamless and the seamed ball so it's Steve from Custom Table Tennis if you want any more videos just click the like and subscribe and you'll never miss a video bye for now mm -hmm.